Well, what do we have here? What we have is a brand new box to my channel. This is my very first drape fit. And if you wanna see what's in it, keep watching. Hi, fashion friends. Welcome to my channel, Dress Like You Mean It. My name's Andrea and I like clothes and fashion and clothing subscription boxes. And if you like that kind of thing, I hope you will hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, and give me that like if you like this video. If you've watched my videos before, you'll know I've complained about the fact that my cat comes to the door every time I sit down to do a video. And she'll come in and she'll yell and she will bump against the ring light. Um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Lucy, why do you do that? Now, some of you have asked to see her. So this is Lucy. She's like, that's enough. Okay, Drape Fit is a clothing subscription box for, I think they do, quiet, I think they do men, women, and children. Um, you fill out a you know style profile, just like all the other subscription boxes. It is a $20 styling fee. And I do not know if that gets applied to what you buy or not. Um, I'm going to leave a link below. I'll pin it in the first comment. If you want to try Drape Fit, um, I believe it gives you $20 off. Lucy, stop bumping the, the ring light. Sorry, <laughs> so sorry. All right, let's see what is in my first drape fit. Um, they, my stylist, you get a dedicated stylist, and she actually sent me an email, just telling me a little bit about herself. They also, when they sent the box, they sent me an email with an itemized list of everything that was in it with the prices. Now, what other unboxers have said, and that email pretty much confirmed it, is that Drape Fit is one of the more affordable boxes. So if you um, want to try something, you know, a clothing subscription, but you've been put off by the prices of some of them, then give Drape Fit a try. So they, let's see, there's a bunch of stuff in there. Um, they wrap everything up in a, uh, a bundle like that. It did break, so I can see something peeking through. And it says, drape fit, we do best fit. All right, in here is bag to send things back that you don't want to keep. Priority mail, like most of the other ones. And this is, I'm gonna guess, the Oh, there's a couple things. Is there a couple things in there? There are a couple things in there. Um, I think this is just a description of what they do. And if you keep everything in your box, you will save 25%. Um, and then this is the price list. So this is the note from my stylist. Welcome to Drape Fit. I'm Paulette and I'm styling, styling your first fit box. I picked out a pair of dark blue denim jeans, which can be paired with your blue long sleeve pullover sweater, your red long sleeve turtleneck pullover top, or your white floral printed short sleeve top. I also chose a cute blue short sleeve, <laughs> short sleeve floral printed maxi dress. I hope you are delighted and I can't wait to read your feedback. Stay safe and have a stylish day. All right. There's also a card in here. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Let's see what's in here. I'm excited. I'm always excited to try something new. There's always a crinkly part of these videos. Okay, 
first. Now this is gonna play with the tissue paper. Hold on. I put the tissue paper outside my office in the hopes that she would go out and play with it, but she's sitting at the door. Okay, so here I'm gonna say this is the dress. And it's, it's in a blue and white ditzy floral. It's got ruffling around the neck. It's by the brand THML. Uh, it's the Daisy Floral Print Smocked Waist Midi Dress. It has got a tie here, and they like they tied the. Or did they? No, it's just looking like that. So it's got a tie, and it's got tassels. I am not. I am not into tassels like that. It's got a poofy sleeve, and then there is smocking on the sleeve. And it's all kind of lacy, not lacy, roughly. And then it's got the smocking at the waist. It's got a flounce with ruffle at the bottom with that tear. That's pretty. I like blue. Blue is my favorite color. I like that shade of blue. So we'll see how that looks. Next up we have this red, I think this is the turtleneck. It's got some, it's got some detail though. It is by Tommy Hilfiger. And it's got like stripes through it, black and, and white, and on the sleeve like that. It's a nice weight. I am not much of a turtleneck girl. I just, I feel like it emphasizes my, um, my 62 year old neck and double chin. So we'll try that on though. And then we have got this by Sugar Lips. <laughs> um, this is a big floral on cream with some ruffles and elastic on the arm and a tie, little ruffle. I am not, and it's a square neck. I almost never wear a print like that, but we'll try it on. And then we have this really pretty Vince Camuto blue sweater. And it's just a, a crew neck. It's got, does it have a slit? No, it's just the front looks a little shorter than the back. So Vince Camuto is usually a pretty pricey, pricey brand. So I'm curious how they if it's because it's end of season that the price is so low. And then we have a pair of Aeropostal jeans, kind of a flare, clean, whiskering. Last thing I need is jeans. <laughs> All right, let's I will show you my outfit of the day and then we will get to the try on. Um, before I forget, I always forget to say this. If you, um, oh, I already said that. If you like the video, I do wanna thank you though for spending part of your day watching my videos. I really just so appreciate it when you do and appreciate it when you subscribe. Appreciate anybody that uses my links. And I just, yeah, I wanna say thank you so much for that. All right, let's get started. My outfit of the day is a Liverpool outfit. These are leggings that I got in a Stitch Fix that are by Liverpool. And this is a sweater that I got in a recent Wannable that is also Liverpool. They go very well together. The sweater is just a crew neck. It's, it's hard to tell, but there's a little pointel detail, three quarter length sleeve. And it's this pretty, pretty teal color goes really well with, with these lighter teal leggings that have a seam down the front and they fit really well. And then the shoes are, um, they're you know, a pretty low heel by a Colton, a T-strap. So that's what I'm wearing today. Let's try on some clothes. Tried on the dress first and 
I love the color. I like, I like a lot about it. So I will say these tassels, I would, if I keep this dress, I will cut these off because, you know, <laughs> this is just too much. Um, and I don't, you know, if I tied it, I mean, I think that would look okay without the tassels. I mean, the tassels just that, yeah. Uh, but I'm not much of a tie like there, and I would prefer it open like that. So I would just cut these off. So let's throw them in the back so they don't distract us. It's got the smocking at the arms and also at the waist. Without it being tied, it forms a, you know, a nice V-neck. Just touch it up just a little bit. And I think that this would be a nice dress to wear for summer, you know. Definitely summer weight. Feels polyester. Um, it comes down to, you know, about a little bit past the middle of my calf. But I think it's a really pretty color, really nice lightweight. And I can't remember how much it costs, so I will go over prices, but it was very reasonable and I think would, would be worth adding to my summer dress wear, wardrobe. So let me know what you think of this one and then we will try on those jeans and the tops. Next outfit is the Vince Camuto light blue sweater with the Air Pastel jeans. And I just paired them with some blue booties that I have. Let's talk about the sweater first. So it's this really, really pretty light blue color. It is baggy and you know oversized, very slouchy. A uh, very cozy, comfy type of sweater. It is not super heavy, so for Colorado, it would actually be a good spring weight sweater for a lot of the 50 degree days we have here. It has a seam going down the middle and the exposed seam on the drop shoulders. The arms are, are really long on me, um, but of course they could be pulled up. The front is a little higher then the back and you could do a front tuck if you wanted to these are a pretty high-waisted jeans so i don't know if you would want to i really feel like it's intended to just be worn over maybe a pair of leggings you know very cozy casual type of vibe so let me know what you think of this sweater and then let's talk about the jeans so these are a size two, and I could barely get them zipped up. Um, so I, I won't be keeping them because they are just, whew, I can barely breathe. Um, I think, you know, they, they look nice. I like, like the whiskering, I like the wash. It does come up right, right to my belly button. So it is a pretty high rise. And then that's the back feel like it looks pretty good in the back. They're long. I mean, with a heel like this, I wouldn't have to hem them, um, but they are, you know, they are pretty long, so hemming them might be a good idea. They're just too tight. I mean, I wear a size two all the time, so I'm not sure why these are so tight. I've never gotten Air Pistol jeans before, so I don't know if they tend to run small. Let me know in the comments if you've gotten them before and if they do run small. It makes me want to take a big deep breath. So I am going to change into a different pair of jeans because I cannot handle these tight jeans any longer and I'll try on some more tops. So I just put on a pair of my citizens um, from Humana, no, seven by for all mankind jeans and this square neck top. Um, this top is a definite no. This is just not my style at all. I, I tend to avoid square necks. I just don't like them that much. Um, I, you know, I don't mind a little bit of a ruffle, but this feels apron-y to me. This side fits fine. This side, it's like the elastic is loose because it's, you know, it's kind of droopier. So I'm not sure what's going on with that because this will stay above my elbow and this one won't. 
And then it's got this little tie here that is just for decoration. And then there's elastic here because my jeans are here. Um, it's, and, and the waist is here. It's kind of creating a, a roll there. So be aware of that. This is the back. So this is a definite no, it's just not my style. I, you know, I don't wear big florals like this and, and this much ruffle, but I'm sure somebody might like it. All right, we have one more top to try on. This is the turtleneck by Tommy Hilfiger. It is 100% cotton, it's very thick. It's got like very fine ribbing. It's got this striping detail and the, the turtleneck is very loose. It's not like tight against my neck. That's not why I don't like turtlenecks. I don't, I don't have issues about stuff around my neck. I just feel like it kind of emphasizes a part of my, my body that I don't want emphasized. This is a really nice turtleneck. And I think it almost gives me like a skiing vibe. But if you like natural fibers, if you like turtlenecks, you like interesting details, then this is the shirt for you. That side, that side, and then the back does not have any striping, but. So I feel like this is a really cute piece, but not for me because of the turtleneck issue. All right, let's do some pricing and recap. So those were some really good pieces. I was, you know, pleasantly surprised. Um, even more pleasantly surprised by the prices. So the subtotal of the entire box for all five pieces, and I have heard that some people have gotten six. I've also heard that they may send jewelry. I don't know if they send other accessories. But the subtotal for these five pieces is $151.97. So for a pair of jeans, and they felt like quality jeans, a pair of jeans, a dress, and a sweater and two tops. Um, I feel like that is super reasonable. If I purchased all five, I would get a 25% discount of $37.99 and then add in tax and that would bring it to $122.70. Um, and I do not see any credit for the styling fee, so I'm gonna say that that's just a styling fee that you pay, that it does not appear to get credited. So let's talk about the prices of each individual piece. The Daisy Floral Print Smocked Waist Midi Dress, that's a mouthful. This was an extra small, it was only $35.50. And I feel like that is a very reasonable price for a dress. It, um, I'm almost certain that it's made of polyester. I would be amazed if it was anything else just because that's what it feels like. It is lined. That's a really pretty blue, isn't it? Um, so that's good to know. And it's just lined the skirt area. It's not lined up top, so it's not gonna be too hot. And I cannot find the, the material tag. Okay, anyway, so I am considering keeping that because I just think it's really cute. It's a really fun dress for summer. All right. You guys know me, I always hold on to things and then try them on the next day and reconsider. And then we have the Vince Camuto sweater in, this is an extra small in blue, and this is only $29.99, which is a steal for something from Vince Camuto, um, especially a sweater. So that's another one I'm considering, and this is made of 73% acrylic, 24% polyester, and 3% spandex. And it did feel, it, it did feel like it was probably acrylic, but it was not itchy for me, so that's good. And then we've got the Tommy Hilfiger long sleeve turtleneck sweater. This is, it was a small in red, $28.99. You know, for something that's 100% cotton, with that detail, I think that is a steal. If I wore turtlenecks, I would be keeping this. And then there was the floral square neck peplum top by Sugar Lips. Love that name. 
and that was an extra small in off-white, $26.50. And this just had several different issues that made it not a keeper, but it's, I mean, it's a cute top, just not, not my style. And then last, we have the Erica Style High Rise Jeans Curvy Boot. And they were a size two and they were $30.99. These feel very quality. Um, they're a nice heavy denim. They did not feel like they had a lot of stretch. And they are 99% cotton, only 1% spandex. Boy, I could tell that. Um, yeah, but I, I wish they had fit because they are they do feel really quality and that is a great price for a pair of quality jeans. So don't forget to let me know if you're familiar with Arapa style jeans. Do they need to, uh, do they tend to run small? All right, so that was my first drape fit box and I felt like it was really, some really good pieces and I am considering a couple of them. If you wanna give me any feedback, I love it when you do. If you'd like this video, I hope you give me that thumbs up. If you wanna try Drape Fit, I'll leave my link below. And yeah, until next time, don't forget to dress like you mean it.